Level change is one of the autopilot's vertical control functions located on the mode control panel in the 737. The main reason to use level change as a pitch control function is that uh, it will maintain the desired uh, speed selected in the speed window by increasing or decreasing the pitch of the aircraft. In a climb, it will set climb thrust or N1 selected in the FMC CDU and adjust the pitch to maintain the selected MCP speed. If speed increases, pitch increase. If speed decreases, the pitch decrease. In a descent, it will retard the throttle to idle and keep the selected speed uh, selected in the speed window by uh, adjusting the pitch without any thrust or drag inputs. And some aircraft uh, without auto throttle has a similar function called IAS, which is pretty much the same as level change. We have different kinds of turbulence. Cumulonimbus clouds can be very turbulent even in the vicinity. And we have also something called CAT or clear air turbulence. If severe turbulence is encountered or expected, we have procedures to follow and a safe V-speed called VRA or sometimes V-turbulence. When maintaining the turbulence penetration speed or rough air speed, you will have a maximum safe margin in case of big changes in airspeed and the likelihood of exceeding the maximum load factor. A large transport aircraft has a maximum load factor of negative 1g and positive 2.5g's. If we exceed it, we may get permanent structural damage. Severe turbulence may make your load factor go uneven from positive to negative and you may want to notify the cabin crew and the passengers if you suspect a turbulence and also secure the cabin and the flight deck. Climbing, descending and banking should be reduced and we will also show this in the simulator. Here we are at our cruising altitude, flight level 360 and we are expecting some heavy turbulence ahead. So uh, we will uh, start with preparing the flight deck. So seatbelts on. Seatbelts sign on. Okay, so harnesses. And uh, from here I will uh, talk to the cabin. So uh, you have control? I have control. Yes, hello, this is the captain. Please prepare the cabin for uh, in case we encounter some turbulence. Thank you. And now I will uh, talk to the passengers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. The seatbelt signs has been turned on, so uh, please return to your seats and uh, make sure they are fastened. And uh, make sure that no loose items uh, are present and uh, please fold up your trays. Thank you. Okay, so we have notified the cabin. I have control. You have control. Turbulence here. Okay, so we will continue to fly on the autopilot. But uh, if we take a look at one, we can see that the thrust is fluctuating a little bit and also our speed. So we need to uh, set turbulence speed. So I have decreased to Mach uh, 0.76. So I will set throttles to 80% and disconnect auto throttle. And uh, we have to uh, make sure that we uh, keep our pitch attitude at a constant value.
and uh, now we don't need to worry about uh, any fluctuations the throttle and uh, our pitch is good and uh, if uh, the turbulence is severe you can uh, try to descend if it's possible to a lower flight level uh, to try to avoid the worst and uh, when you're clear of the turbulence you can resume normal operation. We have arrived at the gate so we're going to do the parking procedure. So first we will check so the aqua brake pressure is in the green zone then we can set the parking brake and we can turn off empty ice, turn on the APU bleed and we can shut off the engine masters. And now we uh, have to establish contact with the ground to make sure that the chocks are in. And after that, we will uh, check on the door page, so the slides has been disarmed. And the uh, exterior lights, when the engines has stopped, uh, we can turn off the beacon lights. See those signs. And we can uh, stop the time. Also turn off all the fuel pumps. And uh, we don't uh, need to check the IRS performance because we're going to do a cold and dark uh, setup. So now we can check so that the fuel quantity is okay. Uh, so it's uh, correct so, so the engines don't, we don't have a leak in the system or anything like that. We can check the status. H and we have a one inup system, a cat free dual. So we should uh, advise the maintenance crew. Make sure the brake fan is off and uh, we can uh, release the parking brake when the chocks are set. And we can uh, switch off all our uh, control, to dim down all the displays. Okay, let's do the parking checklist. APU bleed. On. Engines. Off. Seat belts off. Exit light. Switch emergency exit lights off. Fuel pumps off. Parking brake and shocks. Shocks are in and parking brake off. Checklist completed. So this was the cold and dark shutdown, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.